Hey everybody, it's Steve, and let's try to do better. Let's challenge ourselves. I haven't done a challenge in a while, but um, I feel like it's high time we start uh, getting some of these, more of these on the channel. I'm going to jump into the list. We've accomplished three of them, and I really want to get a perfect on this one. I haven't done a perfect in a very long time, so I'm going to turn off the orbital probes, and the reasoning for that is we have a hydro engineer, so we're automatically starting with a water deposit found. Once we get the, uh, we'll find a water deposit, and I'm actually going to increase the number of uh, sterling, or not sterling gens, fuel refineries that we have on the planet. So I'm going to get rid of one of the RC commanders, add a fuel refinery, because we got to put 50 fuel on this guy to get him avail to get him up and running. I'm going to reduce that number too. I'm going to add a second moisture vaporator. See if we can uh, just kind of kickstart this one and get it done a little bit faster. Because if we're producing, essentially we need two of them to be producing almost immediately. Uh, I think some some people could probably say, oh, you can get away with doing three of them, but then you got to make sure you have everything on the on the planet almost instantly to get this one going. All right, so we're going to start up there. We're going to immediately throw a pause down. Um, okay, so we got plenty of metals up here, which is great. Because we can use those metals to get exactly what we need. The water deposit is down in this low spot. So we almost have to land the rocket down here. To make this one work. We're going to do that. Knowing that we've got the Sterling generator. I'm going to go straight for a water extractor. Actually, no, I can't because I don't have any concrete. Crap. So we're going to need to get up to that concrete. We're going to have to use what we have. Slight issue. Get those guys down here. And prefab is available. Perfect. Alright. We'll drop a Sterling Gen there. Drop those cables down. Drop these guys down. Drop a drone hub next to it. I think it's going to be in range of these metals. And we have wasp drones, so they'll fly over and get the stuff we need. And then we turn around. I'm going to put the vaporator, one vaporator here and another vaporator at the other end. I know I could probably get away with not overlapping them, but knowing my luck, it's just not going to go well. Open up. Alright, pause. And we're going to go straight into these fuel refineries. The sooner we can get them up, the sooner we're uh, cooking with gas. Alright, I got drones flying over there. Perfect. You, oh, um, let's see. These texts kind of suck. Um, no active research. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to be here that long. Let me see if I don't have enough power. We're producing twenty. All right, fine. We'll drop a drop a solar panel. Alright, we're starting to fuel it up, which is fine. We'll drop a universal down here for some reason. Turn off the fuel, because that's got to go straight into this thing. Now, if there was any concrete near here, I'd instantly just be going for that, and then just like, okay, start mining it. Which you could almost argue getting away with. If you really think about this one... You could put a solar panel up here, and you've been talking about this in the comment section of my videos. Put a solar panel up here with a concrete extractor. I'm just going to turn him off for the night shift. 
just keep producing that extra water and I'm absolutely gonna drop an extra water tank. Again, not gonna be super needed, super needed, super needed in this one because we just need to have enough water to... Resources are low. We're fine. <laughs> Perfect. So we're in day two. If I could keep this guy going all the time, I would, but not enough power. Is it a power issue? Yeah, it's a power issue for this one. Okay. Hmm. I don't think. I'm gonna get there in time. I'll I'll admit it. Brandon, this is a great starting spot for a colony. You've got the water, you've got the concrete, you've got some metals readily available for you, plus a great deal on the surface you can utilize. It's just we need to get these to crank out as much fuel as they can. Hmm. Never even thought about doing that. What would happen if I did that? Hindsight? Should have added a, uh, should have put a Sterling Jet in that one, too. Let's, uh, what up another one of these guys? Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and launch a couple of supply pods down. Hmm. I wonder if I need to make a run of it like that. But, I do believe a smarter player would actually have been to just immediately bring down some extra pods with the materials we needed to get this done. Alright. Let's turn this guy off. For now. Yeah, we have one soul five hours left on this one. I think it's, it's feasible. To get this one done. Again, doesn't matter where you bring them down. We just need the uh, we just need them to be on the surface for the prefabs. All right. One day left. Let's see, get you up and running. And drop another fuel refinery down. Open up! I don't know why you ran off. Alright, 19 hours. We are producing... So these are only putting out four fuel per shift. Crap. I thought they were 12 fuel per shift. You learn something new every day when you're playing this game. You really do. Sector scanned. Ooh, sweet. More metals up here. Wow, this is a great... This is a very metal-rich spot. Okay. 14 hours. It's feasible to get, actually get it done. We actually, we're only going to lose five power from this overnight. These two Sterling Gens will keep the entire this whole thing operational. Ooh, we're going to be close, but we're totally going to. I think we're going to make it. So, using the materials you have on Mars, this one's a little tricky. Um, I think you do have to bring down those supply pods to just kickstart what you need 
and get this uh, cranking as quick as you can. Seven hours. Not, not, not. Congratulations are in order, Commander. Your colony has passed the challenge with flying colors. You have perfected the Earthbound challenge for three souls out of the three souls limit for perfect score. Score of our colony, 1,140. Um, yeah, I'll take a screenshot. Um, let's see. Time of day. Day, ooh. Um, I'm gonna go heavy shadowing on that. Uh, let's see. Free camera. Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? <laughs> w, S, A, and D to move faster. Whoa, what the hell? You can tell I don't do a lot of these screenshots. Just get a little closer to the ground. Make everybody a little sick with this. Oh, I will have to go do that again. Control W to get closer really fast. Really close to the ground. See that little waste rock. Hold Alt to release mouse cursor. Okay. Okay. Success. We have a screenshot. Man, that's a weird one to get through. But now, if you see the screenshot of that video, you know exactly where it came from. Let's jump back to the challenge mode, see, and make sure we've got that, uh, I believe it's a gold star for doing this. Yep, a gold star. If you want to launch a rocket within three days, I do want to keep going through these. These are actual challenges. I do like the... Just kind of put my feet up and... Just going throughout the game. But if you want more challenges, let me know in the comment section of this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. If you haven't done so already, ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos come on out. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.